Hello friends, welcome to Shifa's Rasoi and today I've got a Shezwan sauce recipe for you and this can be used as a dip as well as it can be even used for uh, making the Shezwan rice. Uh, so let us see what all the ingredients are. For the Shezwan sauce here I'm taking about 23 dried Kashmiri red chilies. These Kashmiri red chilies are not at all spicy. I'm taking 15 garlic cloves which is one pod one medium size onion one and a half inch piece of ginger if you like more you can always increase it in the condiments here i'm adding a teaspoon of vinegar a teaspoon of soya sauce and two tablespoons of tomato ketchup one third cup of vegetable oil i'm using olive oil and three tablespoons of sugar and salt to taste first things first we're going to separate the dried red chilies from this corn a uh, crown sorry and then we are going to soak these chilies into boiling hot water fill it up totally and we're going to let the chilies rest for about half an hour and then once after half an hour i'm going to just remove the chilies from the water and then i'm going to grind it into a fine paste without adding any water to it we are going to start by heating up a wok or a kadai and then i'm going to add the oil to the kadai or the wok and we're going to let it heat up nicely once that is done we're going to add garlic and as you can see i have finely chopped and we're going to cook till the raw smell of the garlic goes off and then we're going to add the ginger again it's finely chopped and we're going to cook till the raw smell of the ginger also goes off then i'm going to add the finely chopped onions and we're going to cook the onions till they start uh, melting or assimilating into the oil this is the ground red chili paste that I kept ready. Now we're going to add this into the onions and mix it well. Once that is done, we'll start by adding our vinegar and soya sauce. I'm so sorry I couldn't take the shot for the soya sauce. So once we add the soya sauce, I'm going to add in about one fourth cup of water. Then goes in the ketchup. And um, uh, also I'm going to add the spices like sugar and salt. And make sure that you give it a good mix and keep the flame at low because now the sauce has got a tendency to start sticking down so we're going to cover it and let it cook till the sauce thickens and there is oil on the top and it starts to float uh, so right now i'm going to cover it on a low flame and let it cook for another five minutes after five minutes as you can see a lot of oil has surfaced at the top and uh, uh, the sauce looks quite ready and it is smelling good so now we can serve it so friends here are sejwan sauces ready and uh, store it in an airtight container and use a clean spoon and it will last for more than 15 days so guys do give it a try post your comments and share my videos with your family and friends and do like us on facebook and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video